do a spectacular sunrise at Whitley Bay for Chase the Sun. Chase the Sun North, that is. I'm riding 328 kilometers all the way to air. It's gonna be an epic day out on the bike. I am both uh, terrified and excited. I know this is gonna hurt. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of fun, I think. I mean, <laughs> look at that there. I mean, that's, that's an amazing start. Uh, didn't sleep last night. Made me way here at about half past three. Got lost. <laughs> Good start so far. But anyway, there should be some spectacular scenery today. If nothing else, I mean, look at that one. Good morning. All right, so we just topped the first climb of 20, apparently. We are 50k in. It is now, oh, oh can't see what time it is. <laughs> a couple of hours in anyway. It's still a bit fresh. I can't really feel my hands, which is odd for me, because it's not really that cold. Uh, bit of downhill now. Oh, this is stunning. This is stunning. This is why I did the north one and not the south one for scenery like this. This is incredible. Winter's Gibbet is where we are. This is a good a day as any to start the rebuilding of life. The roads that lay open are many. When the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my skin Beginning to fall from within Bikes coming in. First bikes run about 10 past 7. This is just gone 8 o'clock and a few more are still coming in. Alright, so it's currently 8 o'clock. I've done 1100 meters of climbing. We've done 99k or 99.9k, so just short of 100. So just another 228 to go. <laughs> so time for some breakfast. The sun has just come out as I've turned the camera on. That's the first time we've seen it today, other than that magnificent sunrise. It's been a bit of a headwind all the way, but some stunning scenery. Some of those roads over the Northumberland uh, National Park were amazing. And here is my support crew. Here we are at Tower No by the beautiful lake here. It's fantastic, except loads of me. Loads of me, you're getting bin. Did you have a good night here last night? Yeah, we did. It's, uh, we were the only ones here, actually, in the camper. So, uh, did, yeah. you, did you manage to sleep? Because I didn't. <laughs> no, <laughs> I was not so an worried, awful lot. <laughs> I was so worried about not getting up at three o'clock. Yeah, I didn't no, sleep a wink. Not an awful lot, to be honest. <laughs> I'll probably sleep tonight though. Yeah. Ebony. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. 
and lick all the sweat off me. Yeah. Oh, there's, there's several clubs together, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's nice to get behind them because then I can stay out the headwind, but as soon as you get into the headwind, it's quite difficult. Yeah, okay. Okay, see you later. This is gonna be a good day. This is gonna be a good day. For you. For you. Every time I wanted to stay. Right, so we finally crossed into Scotland. The Scottish border so far have been amazing. It's the first time I've been out of the wind. A few of the guys have just stopped for a pee stop. But I've got a nice group going, cruising along. Hopefully it won't take long for us to get to Langholm for our lunch stop. But this is incredible. It could only get better if we had a bit of sunshine. But judging by what the, uh, the boys doing in the south have got, I'll be quite happy with no rain and a little bit of wind. And a bit grey. What a day out so far. Let me stay with your arms around me. If we stay here like this is the only place where I wanna be. This is as long as we go. Right, so I'm in Langholm, I've done 160k. So the is about 170k to go. <laughs> Not quite halfway, but I still feel good. The route back there, I mean, every time I went around a corner, I'm thinking this is the best road I've ever ridden. You run another corner, this is the best road I've ever ridden. So <laughs> there are lots of footage from those little valleys. That was incredible. Scotland is doing a, a wonderful job today. It is a bit cold. I've been on my own since the cafe and this headwind is a battle. But I just spied a group up the road, a big group. I'm trying, without pushing too hard, to try and reel him in, see if I can get some shelter for a while. But we're approaching Lockerbie. Still feeling good. That was a bit short-lived, my group. I was a, a little bit too strong from, which I don't know where it's come from. This is the best I've ever felt on a bike. I've done 200K, 2,300 meters of climbing. I can't remember the last time I felt this good. The wheels are gonna come off somewhere, aren't they? But we've just been through Lockerbie. I didn't see the monument for the plane crash, but uh, 130K to go, <laughs> and all is well. I'm loving this. That's why. now officially my longest ride. Up to today I've done 224 kilometres. I'm now at 225. The wheels haven't quite come off because I still feel good but 
I'm struggling to get any quicker than 20 kilometers an hour into this headwind. It's been brutal. The uh, landscape's changed a bit. It's got a lot flatter. Just a kind of mediocre rolling roads into a vicious headwind. The wind is picking up, I think, and I am struggling to put the power into the pedals. Uh, I haven't really seen anybody. There's a guy at the side of the road who then chased me down and then pulled in at the cafe at uh, AE. If, I don't know how you say it. And there are quite a few there that sort of passed. A load more in the cafe. I'm hoping at some point they might catch me up and I might have enough strength to jump on the back and get a tow. I'm looking forward to a coke at Thornhill now. Seems like forever Since we've been together Oh God, I miss So Dad, i got 90k to go. Do you oh. I'm going to do it? I'm sure you'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm determined. It's only three o'clock. Yeah. So we've got You've six got plenty hours. Of time left, yeah. Six hours yeah. to do 90k. Yeah. So yeah, I don't think there's much climbing left, and I've probably cursed that now I've said it. <laughs> I know we go past a lock. I'm just looking forward to seeing Maybol because I know it's not far from here then. Yeah. Yeah, you're almost there when you're at Maybol. But I'm shivering. Because I yeah, so <laughs> I've been it's stopped not, and it's gone cold. It's, it's cloudy, and so I need to get going. It's the blue sky, but it's uh, chase the sun. It's behind us, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. It's uh, six o'clock, we've done 294 kilometers, so I make that 36 kilometers to go, so just over 20 miles. I've teamed up with Dave, who's been a great companion, keeping me chatting as the kilometers tick away. We're nearly there, <laughs> just the last little push to get to air. I think Maybowl is the next place we're heading for. Uh, this is a long way. Well, thank you, Dave. Thank you. You're a legend. Thanks for your company. Really enjoyed that. No, perfect. You got me through the end. Uh, oh, that last 20 miles went on forever. <laughs> well, we did it. So after 14 hours and 24 minutes of moving time, 331 kilometers, 3,710 meters of climbing, I chased the sun and won, arriving in air at 7.47 p.m. And according to the marshal, my dad asked, we came in around 17th place, which if that was true, then I'm absolutely amazed. Along the way, there are brilliant people that you meet and talk to and it helps pass the miles away just that little bit quicker. And the camaraderie of everyone willing each other on is incredible. I first passed Dave before AE and then later just after Thornhill and his company was just what I needed for the last part of the journey. So thank you, Dave. It was a pleasure. And then Dad and Andrea, you were both amazing. Your support looking after me all day and following this madman from one coast to another coast in a completely different country. I will always be grateful, so thank you. So thank you for watching, and I will see you all in Switzerland in a few weeks time.